to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a donder. We're at Tarbot Ness Lighthouse. Part of our marching north holiday in February, March 2020. It's wild, it's wet and it's windy. But it is the end of February. The Tarbot Ness Lighthouse is located at the northwest tip of the Tarbot Ness Peninsula near the fishing village of Port Mahomac. It was built in 1830 by Robert Stevenson and has an elevation of 53 metres and 203 steps to the top of the tower. A storm in the Morrie Firth in November 1826 saw the loss of 16 vessels and brought many applications for lighthouses to be constructed at Tarbot Ness and at Cove Sea Skerries near Lossiemouth. Tarbot Ness Lighthouse was engineered by Robert Stevenson for the Northern Lighthouse Board and the light was first exhibited on 26th of January 1830. James Smith of Inverness was the contractor responsible for building of the lighthouse which cost £9,361. The Lighthouse Tower is the third tallest in Scotland, behind North Ronaldsay and Skerry Vaux, and it is notable for having two distinguishing broad red stripes. Earthquake shocks were sometimes reported and Tarbot Ness once shook so that the shades and lamp glasses rattled.
According to local tradition, the site of the lighthouse was once a Roman fort and later used for witches' coverns. Tarbert Ness is also a place of special interest for the observation of migratory birds. It is probable the lighthouse was built on the foundations of the Roman fortification. And the birds are certainly a reason we return to this spot quite often. Here we are looking across the Moray Firth to the coast where we spend many of our donders. It is also looking across to the site of one of Scotland's wind farms which will make us independent of fossil fuels in the very near future. for watching Desmond Stonders. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now. <laughs>